All right, what up, YouTube? We're going to test out Bitsgap's DCA bot. So I'm going to set this thing up to DCA me into Bitcoin, and you can apply this to Kadena or whatever other asset you want as well. So we're going to be using the RSI indicator setting set to 14. So we're going to use the 15 minute time frame. And every time Bitcoin drops below the 30 level on RSI with the setting set to 14, the bot's going to place a buy order on Bitcoin. We're going to set it up to buy us $110 for the initial position and then $50 every time it gets a signal. So every time the market gets really bearish and RSI drops below that level, it'll place a buy order automatically for you. And the idea is that we're going to try to accumulate $500 worth of Bitcoin at a time. It's actually going to be 379 because it's kind of weird how it sets itself up, but I could set up multiple ones. I could reset this up with another 500. So we're just going to walk through the process this way. Every time I get $3,000 more worth of Bitcoin, I'm going to be setting up an actual Bitcoin trading bot with a trading pair so it can trade BTC against Matic, for example. And every time it takes profit in the asset, it's going to be taking profit in Bitcoin. So I'm going to use these bots to basically DCA me into Bitcoin because I think we're within 30% of bottom. So how I'm going to be doing this strategy is every time I get a thousand dollars, I'm going to use that thousand dollars and set up a DCA bot. This bot will DCA me into whatever assets until I accumulate 3000 of whatever asset. Then once I have 3000 coins of Bitcoin, for example, then I'm going to actually turn on a Bitcoin trading bot that's going to trade against different assets and actually take profits into BTC. So it's actually going to be DCAing you in when it's taking profits into the assets that you want to accumulate. So first thing we're going to want to do is A, make sure we have $1,000 on Bybit. I use Bybit, no KYC. You guys get the idea. So the first thing that we are going to want to do is we're going to want to swing up to the top of the screen. We're going to click the start bot button. We are going to choose a DCA bot. Under pairs, I'm going to select BTC USDT and it says my available balance right here. We're going to make sure we are long. The next thing we're going to do is do instant or we can actually go with indicators. So we're going to go based off an of indicator. We're going to click the indicator drop down. We're going to choose RSI 14. We're going to go based off the 15 minute time frame. We're going to choose confirm. So now we have RSI 14 indicator set to the 15 minute time frame. So every time the RSI breaks below the 30 level with the 14 setting, it's going to place a buy order. And we can see some buy signals over the last 30 days would have been 29. So I got 29 buy signals over the last 30 days. We're going to hit confirm. So it shows that I have a remaining balance of $984 that it's going to use to buy $109 worth of BTC every time that the indicator gives it a signal. So I'm going to hit continue. And right here, we can choose our step percentage. Now it's asking me for a step percentage. So if it gets a signal twice in the same zone, do you want it to continue to buy in that same range? Now, if we swing back over to trading view and I take a look at Bitcoin's current price at 19,477, how far do I think Bitcoin's going to come down? So I think that from current price, the lowest we're going to see Bitcoin come down is 27 to 30% tops. And I think that that's very unrealistic to think that Bitcoin's actually going to get that low before it gets bought up. But crypto winner, you never know. So I think having 30 additional or even 25, we could even say 25%. So I would need at least 25 buy orders to actually make it down to that level. So if I swing back over to Bitsgap and I say every 1%, that would give me about 10 buy orders before I ran out of money. So if I hit 10 buy orders on the way down would give me roughly 10% down. 10% would cover me down to 17,500. And that's great for this bot because that'll run me out of this thousand dollars. And then I can actually set up additional one for another thousand if I wanted to as well. So I think 1% is a decent range and it's going to say, hey, maximum buy value is going to be $379. Remaining balance is going to be $714 and it's going to again, set up this DCA bot accordingly. So let's give it a rip. So now it's saying amount per order, $54. Number of orders is gonna be five, at the very least five. And it's, it looks like it has orders set up all the way down to $18,375. I'm gonna hit confirm. I'm gonna hit continue. So now it's asking for a take profit zone. Since I don't really wanna take profits on these, since I don't really plan to sell any of these positions, and I actually wanna keep these assets and I wanna turn them into a different trading bot when it gets up there, I'm gonna set take profits at 25%. That way it's gonna to have to break back above 25,000. So I'm just gonna come over here. So since I don't wanna take profits and I actually wanna turn this into a bot, 
I don't want to sell the Bitcoin that it's going to buy me. I'm going to set my take profit at 30%. That way, if price does start to push back up above 23, I'll be here. I'll be watching this bot quite often. So I'm just going to cancel the bot once it accumulates me the amount of Bitcoin that I want it to accumulate. And then what's really cool is it shows you your profit and losses versus all your buy position. So it's going to buy me roughly a thousand dollars worth of so I just came over here. I don't want to use a stop loss. I do not want to sell out of this position. I did not see in a way to not use a stop loss. So I'm just going to set my stop loss at fixed at 99%. So that means BTC would actually have to go down to $194 for it to close out this position. So it's going to DCA me in long on BTC USD. First order is going to be $109. Uh, amount per DCA is going to be $54. And orders has five orders set up ready to go and it has going to have a take profit at 30 percent and i'm going to hit confirm again you can review all of your data here and i'm just going to hit confirm and boom now we have a btc usdt bot a dca bot set up it's waiting because it's setting up basically all your conditions it's going to be using the rsi indicator on the 14 hour time frame to find entry positions so I'm gonna let this one rip and see how it turns out. Again, I'm just testing out these bot strategies. I wanna document it so you guys can see all, did it work, did it not work? I'm not telling you guys to go out and set up these bots. I'm saying, watch what I'm doing, guys. I'm gonna throw 20 to $30,000 at these bots because I hear all the research that I've done, this is the time to set these bots up. You definitely do not wanna be doing this going out of a bull run, right? When the market's at peak and assets are gonna drop by 80%, horrible, horrible time to use bots. When you're at bottom or you think you're within 20 to 30% of bottom, that those are your key trade zones. So if I'm confident that the market's not going to go down by more than 30% or the assets that I'm actually setting my bots up for are not going to go down more than 30%, I'm golden. Or if it's an asset like Cadena and I don't care if it goes down more than 30% because I would DCA myself into it anyways, it's a no-brainer. Bots are going to make you profit. So if I'm just holding the asset, I might as well at least get the asset trading and working and making money for me. In the last couple of days, these bots have made me $7.50. So that's $7.50 I wouldn't have had. And the market it has not moved. So you need some volatility in the market for these things to do their thing. I'm still making more money than I would if I would have just held the assets. And that's the idea is that I hopefully can be, hopefully can get $30,000 worth of bots set up that generate 10% a month in passive income. And that 10% would be $3,000. So if I'm making $3,000 with these bots running, I don't need a bull run. I don't need a bear market. It doesn't matter. I'm generating passive income. So we're going to give it a shot. Drop some comments below. Let me know what your experience with bots are. And Definitely let me know what your experience with bots are in a bear market, not going out of a bull run. Cause I know a lot of people tried this going out of the bull run and they got pretty wrecked. So keep those things in mind. Again, my name's Ryan Mata. I'll flux with you later.